Time to play with some clay. I'm going to be making rocks. And it's late in the evening. And the reason it's late in the evening is because I had to go to Bozeman today, but it was so hot when I got back home. I just, I had to wait for the heat to cool down outside. And uh, it finally did. Anyway, I'm just going to try to figure out how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to have to cut this robe off right there just so I can get it inside there and work. May have to use my knife. I had a lot of filling clay back there. That's why it was a little harder to cut apart than I thought it would be. And I'm going to set that clay aside. Hmm. Got to figure out what I'm going to do here. got this uh, loincloth back here I'm gonna call it cut that rock out of the way that I put in yesterday I want to get the same texture I have on the other rocks. And uh, I got this brush here. A, a YouTube video, a YouTube follower of mine sent me a whole bunch of these things. And uh, a long time ago, a couple months ago. And uh, boy, they're really handy to get that rough texture that, uh, so I can make it look like a rock instead of a piece of clay. And it's best to do that now before I put it underneath uh, him, which will make it a lot harder to get that texture. Yeah, I think I'm going to, yeah. All right, I'm just... Uh, Filling in underneath the uh, rocks here. I can't have sharp recesses. I have to have a rounded recess so that uh, when they blast out the uh, investment, which is the uh, ceramic mold, and there will always be a little bit of investment left on the bronze. That's why they have to uh, sandblast it and chip it and all that stuff. And the less chipping they have to do, the less work they do on the clay or the bronze means less that they charge me for the uh, finished bronze. Okay. 
All right, I got a big hole right there. And I got to fill that in. Now I'm going to have to... I think I might have to put some aluminum foil back in there. I don't know. I think I can do it with just a piece of clay, though. You really got to think these things through because uh, it'll affect... Yeah, this guy has some little foil in there. There, that's good. That's good. Okay, to fill in properly, I gotta cut this legging off, or this flap of the legging, so I can reach back there and not ruin the delicateness of that. side I got it filled in but now I gotta make it look like it isn't filled in I gotta figure out how to do that I can make it look like the rock gives the illusion that the rock is continuing under by having a kind of a v-shaped cavity it's still workable as far as the mold goes. Yeah, fill in underneath that uh, nice scabbard too. Let's see how that looks. Actually looks pretty good. All right, I was going to come in tomorrow, but I think I'm going to take a couple of days and just recharge my batteries. I'm a little depleted right now. It's been a busy week. I like the way this all looks now. Uh, that filled in and everything. Um, And it's going to make it a lot more mold friendly. And that's really what I was looking for to do. Let's make it mold friendly. The friendlier it is to the mold maker, the less he'll charge you for it. And uh, the less work they have to do after it's cast in bronze, the happier your wallet's going to be. You don't have to charge as high a price for the clay as you did before. I think what I'll do 
means I'll put the robe back on. Just so that uh, I don't misplace that. And I can take it off easily next week. So I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. And uh, keep safe. Drive safely if you're going to drive somewhere. And uh, good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.